Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So for this video, I'm gonna go over the benefits of having a dip bar. I'm actually using a dip bar that I made myself out of PVC pipe. If you haven't seen the video yet, I'll post a link below to show you the video and if you wanna learn how to make your own dip bar. But normally dip bars, they're pretty portable, which is great for if you wanna work out on the go and you're going on trips and stuff. And they are one of the best exercise for building a good upper body overall and building body strength and size. Some of the body parts that they work out are your chest, your shoulders, triceps, your upper back as well as your lower back. And you do feel it indirectly in your biceps as well as your core muscles. As far as form for doing dips, you want to have the dip bar a little bit over shoulder width apart and lean forward a little bit when you're doing dips. You want to have to keep your whole body straight up unless you're doing tricep dips and that put more strain on your shoulders. So as far as a regular dip, you want to lean forward a little bit and when you go down, have your elbows bend at a 90 degree. You could have your elbows bend more if you have the shoulder mobility to do so, but bending more than that just put more strain on your shoulders. And this right here is just a front side view of me doing dips, so you can see it at a different angle. And when you're doing dips, you want to bend your knees and put your leg back almost like a C when you're doing it, so that way your leg isn't just dangling around when you do them, and it keeps your body more stable. Some things to consider when doing dips is always keep your shoulders in place. Don't rock and roll your shoulders back and forth. And don't swing and bounce your body up and down when you're doing them. When you go up on your dip, make sure you don't lock out your elbow completely at the top. Always keep your elbow like slightly bent. Once you get better at your dips and you want to make it more challenging, you could also add different weights to have that extra resistant plus your body weight. Uh, right there I'm wearing my old vest from when I was in the army. The vest plus the plates and magazine is about an extra 20 pounds. If you have like some dumbbells you can carry it at the bottom of your feet. I've seen that done before. But another thing is if you have a backpack you could just throw some books in there, some rocks, stones, anything to make it more heavy to add extra resistance when you're doing dips. That would be good too. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting ever since I started this channel. If you have a channel of your own, like I always say this, feel free to leave your channel link on the comment below. I would love to see what you're working on on your end. And if you have any questions, please just leave a comment below, anything you wanna say. And I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting. You guys take care, be safe, and see you on the next one.